What's up, you guys? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to another day, and welcome to another j j j j journey with your boy. Check it up. If you guys are new to the channel, my name is Charles Wilson. I'm a full-time employee, part-time entrepreneur, and YouTuber. Um, so make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and the notification bell because I want to take you guys on my journey to become a full entrepreneur. But before I get into it, I just want to apologize for everyone I missed Thursday and Saturday uh, this past week. Uh, it's just been a crazy t couple of weeks, as you guys could tell. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I went to go surprise my parents and Cali on a quick like turnaround trip. And then this past weekend, I traveled with Chandler High School to Las Vegas to get some footage. You guys can see the footage right here. Actually, I'll put a, a link up there, but you can also see some of the footage right here on the side, but I'll put a link up there if you guys wanna check out the whole the whole highlight I created for them. Uh, but it's been pretty cool just to, to see a couple new things I haven't been to. For example, the Monterey Car Show. Uh, I know I got a lot of views on that one, which was kind of cool. And then the um, highlight video I did for Chandler High last last week or this past weekend in Vegas was also a good experience uh, to travel with them. That's two two years in a row that I've traveled with Chandler High School. Um, last year I went with them to California to go watch them play Corona Centennial. Luckily this time it was a different um, result than last time. Last time last year they got blown out, but this year they went ahead and whooped on Liberty in, in Las Vegas. And again, I'll put a link here for the one against Centennial if you guys want to check that one out. So, um, but I have a pretty exciting video for you guys today. So while I was at my parents' house in California, I was just snooping around my room and ran into a box. That's right, as you guys could tell in the thumbnail and the title, I ran into a box of comics I've been collecting since the seventh grade or middle school because I think I could have been collecting in the sixth grade, but yeah, you guys know. Anyways, without further ado, I'm just gonna go through some of the, actually I'll, I'll try to go through all the comics I have in here, but as you can see in my middle school handwriting, comics ask before touch. <laughs> so let's see what we got in here, you guys. All right, there's a lot of freaking comics here. Yeah. Most prized comic I have in here, I believe I bought it for 40 bucks. It's the X-Men, the Uncanny X-Men edition 266. Again, in my sixth grade middle school handwriting, don't touch. I used to hang these on my wall, uh, but this is actually the first appearance of, or sorry, first appearance of Gambit in the X-Men comic books. Gambit was my favorite uh, mutant from X-Men. So as you guys could see right here, I don't want to get the the lights to blur it out as you guys you guys can see doing that but yeah check that out bow look at that thumbnail boom uh, yeah so there's that one I don't think I've read that one actually um and then I have a multiple series of this Wolverine versus Punisher I think this one is let's see one two Three. So this is the newer edition from Marvel Knights. It's actually a three-part series. Um, here's Wolverine, or yeah, Wolverine vs. Punisher one. There's two right there, and then here's number three. So that's crazy. That's the, like I said, that's the newer edition. I also, I also have the older edition, which again is a three-part series, one of three, or three of three right here. Uh, this one's by Marvel Comics, so boom, these are the older ones, Wolverine vs. Punisher 1, as you guys can see right here, one of one of three, uh, number two here, and then El Numero Thrace, so those are pretty valuable too, I, I gotta go, go back and double check these ones, but um, this is Gambit's first comic when he did his own spinoff, when he got his spinoff from Marvel. If you guys want to check this out, I know they had another one where the limited edition where it was gold in the background instead of black. Um, oh, sorry. Now, it was gold in the background. I guess you guys could see the lettering is um, outlined in gold, but the limited edition one had the gold background with the black outline. So, obviously, I don't have that, but um, yeah, the first Gambit comic dropped on December 1st. Direct edition, boom. That was pretty cool. All right, as you guys know, it's all Marvel around here, so. Um, hmm. 
Wolverine versus Hulk, one of four. I'm not sure if I have all four of them, but here's one of them. I, I'm assuming I don't because usually I like to keep them together. So I'm just gonna place that there, Wolverine versus Hulk. And then also one of my favorite um, Marvel characters, Bishop, appears in X-Men. You guys can see here, he's part of the X-Men, uh, one of three limited series. And then here's his spinoff, his first comic right here, but Bishop, because he black. <laughs> so, got to keep it a buck, you know what I'm saying? Bishop, the last X-Men. Boom. See that? Bishop, the last X-Men. Collector's item, first issue. Look at that. I don't know, Bishop's not that popular now, but hopefully gets introduced to the... Uh, Marvel Universe or the new X-Men Universe uh, because then those comic books will get more more value. And then obviously Bishop's first appearance in the X-Men comic books. This one is Uncanny X-Men 283. This is his first appearance in the X-Men Universe. Bow, Bishop. I even put it again in my middle school handwriting if you guys can't see that. First appearance of Bishop. So, I don't know. I'm, there's a lot of comic books in here. But maybe you guys, if you guys collect comic books and you're reading this, make sure you guys hit the comment section below. And let me know if any of these are valuable. Um, I'm not going to sell them. I'm planning on keeping these because, again, I like comic books. I just haven't been purchasing comics as of late. Um, actually, look at this. So, Hulk versus Wolverine. Um, here's number three of four. I showed you guys number one of four. And then here's two of four. So it looks like hopefully I have number four or four. So then I would complete the series. And if I have three of four of them, then I would assume I have the last one. Uh, Wolverine Gambit. Again, anything with Gambit I was collecting when I was in middle school. So, man, these things are crispy. As you guys can see at the top of them, there's like a hole because I used to hang these on my wall. So uh, let me go ahead and... Put that there. Oh, damn. Okay. Um, so here's another one. So Gambit, Sons of the Atom, and Bishop Genesis. So this one, I believe, has the first appearance of Gambit and Bishop in its own separate comic. So the, the two comics I showed you guys of the first appearance of Gambit and the first appearance of Bishop, those were combined and put into this. Um, so as you guys can see, 64 page spectacular and I already remember that because I when I bought it I was like hey these look familiar and then obviously if I like Bishop and Gambit I should have the first appearance of where they met and that's right here so Uncanny X-Men or actually no not Uncanny X-Men uh, this is Bishop or Gambit versus Bishop X-Men this was dropped in May doesn't have a year but this is the first meeting of the two of my two favorite uh, X-Men characters. Hmm. Um, I got some good ones here. This is crazy. The Darkness and Hulk. This one just looked kind of cool on the cover. I don't know who Darkness is. And for you comic nuts out there, I'm sure you'll destroy me in the comment section. But this one, I just got because of the Hulk. is cool. So, put that there. Oh, there you go. Here it is. So here's the 404 uh, Hulk and versus Wolverine. There you go. That completes the uh, the four comic books for the whole series right there. How you guys like that? I have, well, here's three of them. And then let me just pull out this other one. Look at that. Badass. Four to complete the series right there. These are all original crispy pages mint condition as you guys know these things have been sitting in a box it's getting real dusty in here and then the newer one from marvel knights they remade it wolverine hulk um so this is number one i'm not sure if there's more maybe there are we'll run into them um but again i try to keep them in this plastic and the board in the back you guys can see so it's hard to bend at least by just holding it Let's see, next one, X-Men Universe. So this is Preview Spectacular, dropped in 1999. Um, 
past, present, future, number one. Issue number one. Oh, this is the first. This is the first of the X-Men Universe comics. Again, I'm not sure how valuable this one is, but boom. Past, present, future. And I'm sorry if the lighting is messing it up, but hopefully you guys get a good look at that one. Again, comic nuts, let me know if any of these are valuable. That would be very helpful. I'll have to look these up anyways. Um, the End Wolverine. I want to say this one is like Logan the, the video. I'm sure I'm going to get destroyed again by the people that actually follow these comics and read them. Uh, but yeah, number one, The End Wolverine. Uh, let's see what else we got. The Astonishing X-Men. The saga that changed everything begins here. Number one number one of this uh, series, so The Astonishing X-Men. Looks like I don't even know any of these guys, it's like Cyclops um, and Wolverine, so. Booyah, I'm showing my comic book knowledge right, right about now. Okay, Wolverine, Days of Future Past. Episode or issue number three. So this is number three of the series. Okay, I don't know if I have the or actually I do. Hold on. So this is issue number one. X-Men Days of Future or Wolverine Days of Future Past. December this is the first issue. So I'm trying to let it focus. And then here's the third one. Hopefully somewhere in this box there'll be the second one. And uh yeah. Crazy. Look at that. I ain't selling these people, just FYI, I'm not selling them. Captain America, Sentinel of Liberty, collector's item issue one right there. Look at that. Bow, take a good look at that. Big action. Oh yeah, big action. Big adventure. Or bold, sorry. Sorry, bold. Sorry people in the comment section. But if you guys are liking this, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button for your boy. Um, all new first issue, Weapon X. Looks like Sabretooth. But um, yeah, first first issue. Hold on, I'm going to let it focus. You guys can see it right there. First of the series. And then, oh snap. I don't even know. What the heck? Uh, Wolverine Captain America one of four I don't know why these things are not together in this box somebody must have went through this because um, usually I like have, having my comic book stand up in this box where all of them are laying down so someone must have went through this while I was sitting there uh, one of four again there's that and then you have your Captain America Sentinel of Liberty issue number 12 this is number 12 so I know for a fact I don't have <laughs> 1 through 12, but I do have number 1. Bow, Gambit, number 2 of the series. You guys know I have number 1. I just showed you guys. Here's number 2, the second comic book in that series. Hopefully I have number 3 somewhere in here. Um, and then Days of Future Past for Wolverine. Boom, number 2. That's the claws through Magneto's helmet right there. So that's the first three of these. Hit the comment section. Tell me, tell me what you guys think. Okay, the world's greatest comics, Marvel Comics. It looks like a um, first of four issue limited series. Here's Gambit. This is the first one of that limited series, the fourth one. Again, Gambit's my favorite X-Men character. So usually I'm going to... I'm going to have a lot of comps of, of Gambit, as you guys could tell. Now, I don't know how much this one is worth. Uh, so, the Ultimate Fantastic Four, issue number one, Hands Off. And I think I put Hands Off on this one because I thought this one was going to be worth a lot of money. Because for those of you guys that know, when Spider-Man first came out with uh, Tobey Maguire... I think that's his name who did the first spider-man i know there's been like three of them lately um, but they were giving out the ultimate spider-man at the movie theaters when you got there and those like skyrocketed in price immediately after the movie released um 
So once the Fantastic Four came out, I got this one for for the low and was hoping that the same thing would happen. I don't think it did because I think I remember checking like a few months ago and it just, nah. It's not it, boss. That ain't it. Secret War, book two of five. Ultimate War, oh damn. Okay, so Secret War, book two of five. Has X, or well, has Wolverine on here. I don't think I have all five of them, but I think I got this just in case I was running into them. But look at that, badass. Wolverine. Maybe I should start going to these comic book collections and seeing what I'm missing with certain series on here. Um, Ultimate War. The Ultimates versus Ultimate X-Men. Number one. Issue number one. So you guys can see. And again, for you guys that know how much these comics are worth, hit the comment section and let me know. Because I don't know. Number two of the Ultimate Fantastic Four. Uh, I believe I have three of them. But I just started collecting them just because I thought, again, they would be going up in price after the Fantastic Four. The first one and then the Silver Surfer one. And then I'm not even going to talk about the third one. Because that one was awful. But... X-Men Unlimited, this one, first edition. Let me block out old girl's booty right there. So, you know, gotta keep it PG for you guys that are watching this. Uh, but yeah, this is the first edition, X-Men Unlimited. I was looking for a number one on all these. What the hell is this? This one feels damaged. Uh, the House of Ideas, Marvel, previews. Yeah, I don't know what the hell this is, but for all you guys, I'll give you a good look so you guys could see it. Check that out. Let me know if that's worth anything. I don't know what the hell that is. Um, Identity Crisis, so this is the first Oh, first of seven, damn it. Um, this is DC. This is the only DC comic I think I have. So check that out. Now I think we're getting out of the Marvel section. So look at that, DC right there. I don't know why I have Futurama, but... Um, Feisty first issue, Futurama Comics. Number one, this is a special Comic Con International pre Premiere Edition for Futurama. Maybe you guys know this. I don't. I just, I bought it because it was the first of the series. So why not buy it when it was cheap in middle school? I was saving my lunch money just to buy these. FYI. There you go. Fantastic Four. Number three right here. Boom. Look at that bow so one two three and then part four boom damn part five part six okay part seven and then part eight issue eight that's as far as it goes people one through eight Enjoy it. Enjoy the view, because when it's gone, it's gone. Ooh. Okay. What if the Hulk had killed Wolverine? Look at that. Look at that right there, people. What if? Dang, that's tight. I think I got that because of the cover of the comic. See it shining? Look at that. That's Wolverine skeleton. Man, that's intense. And if you guys didn't see enough Wolverine versus the Punisher. Here's a few more. So this is one through four, and I'll show you guys individually. Wolverine Punisher, number one right here. Number two. That looks like a different Punisher than what I know. <laughs> Number three. 
and then number four of course hopefully you guys could check that out and then here are the last three in the box Wolverine Punisher number four I'm not sure what series that goes to I'll have to put these back in order once I put them back in the box um, X-Men Unlimited number two and then X-Men Unlim Unlimited number three and I show you guys I had number one so here's two and three obviously number three with Gambit on the front and that looks like Bishop on the second one so as you guys can see this is why I got these that's crazy number two Bishop number three Gambit right there so that's all I got, you guys. Make sure you guys hit that like button if you guys like what I've seen. Again, if you guys are all into comics, make sure you hit that comment section and let me know what I got. If not, I'm going to end up, I'm going to keep these anyways, but it would be cool to see, hey, these are like unicorns. And for those of you guys that don't know, unicorns kind of like something you never see. Uh, but yeah, if you guys like the video, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up button. We appreciate that. Make sure it's blue so your boy be getting credit. Also, make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when your boy be putting out new videos. And I might be switched to a weekly schedule because of how busy I am with football season. Uh, so I will definitely keep you guys updated on that. But as of right now, it's Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday at 9 p.m. I might be switching that to Tuesday at 9 p.m. weekly. It's a more reasonable schedule for me, but again, I want to let you guys know officially in the upcoming video. But I appreciate your guys' support and sticking with me for this long. Again, I'm excited to have content on this channel. We're going to be bringing up more content, more stuff that you guys like. And I think I'm starting to get an understanding of what people like on YouTube, uh, or at least the people that you guys are, the people that are following. I, I'm starting to understand uh, what type of videos you guys like as well as stuff I like shooting. Um, so I'm gonna find like a common ground and then start making more of those type of videos. But um, anyways, as always, action turns knowledge into power and I'll see you guys next video. Chokey,